I'd like to give you a personal overview today of why you should be considering the Chief Executive Group for your marketing message. As Q4 and the 2011 planning season approaches and you begin to look closely at suitable vehicles to target the message for your products and services, and if your message is aimed at the key decision maker, that's the CEO of the company, or your product is targeted at a high net worth individual, then it's time you took a close look at what the Chief Executive Group can offer you. In a nutshell, our 228,000 readers are key decision makers who are CEOs of companies with an average revenue stream of $918 million. They're CEOs who manage an average of 1,654 employees. If they're not reading Chief Executive in their corner office, they're reading on board the private jet. CEO Magazine has an exclusive distribution agreement with one of the leading private jet organizations to be the only business-to-business -business magazine provided on every single flight. They're reading email newsletters, either on their iPods, their iPads, or at their desk, which have grown in high demand from monthly to weekly. They're individuals who have an average household income of 186,000, and more importantly, a median household income of over $800,000 per year. They're involved in the purchase decisions of financial and corporate services, human resources, sales and marketing, computer technology, insurance, mergers and acquisitions, and much, much more. The PIAB, as you'll know the Purchase and Influence in American Business Study, states, the chief executive reader is a high profile senior executive both personally and professionally, is affluent, serves on multiple boards of directors, is involved in all aspects of business purchase decisions, travels frequently by plane and uses the internet in their day-to-day -day business activities. The CEO is without peer in the company. They have singular authority to direct the energies and resources of the company. They wield power and influence. As company leader, the CEO acts as the chief decision maker. Their decisions impact business, community, the economy and government. While exercising this authority, the CEO is also liable and accountable for the performance and compliance of the organization. Competitive pressures and government regulation have increased greatly. Today's CEO is far more involved in decisions on a company-wide basis. The executives and employees of a company are subject to the leadership and decision-making authority of the CEO. As chief decision-maker, the CEO has final say and the organization follows. During planning season, don't count the people you reach, look closely and reach the people who count. For more detailed information, contact Chris Chalk at 847-730-3662 or email him directly at cchalk at chiefexecutive.net. Thank you for your time.